Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing Lavender Brown. If you can't remember who Lavender is, she's in the Harry Potter series from the very beginning. She's mentioned as soon as the very first book, and her face is first shown in the film adaptation of The Chamber of Secrets. Lavender was a pure-blood witch that started at Hogwarts in the same year as Harry Potter. Lavender was sorted into Gryffindor House and was actually the first new Gryffindor of her year, as expressed in the following excerpt. But Brown Lavender became the first new Gryffindor and the table on the far left exploded with cheers. Lavender actually shared a dormitory with Hermione, among other girls. While spending time at Hogwarts, Lavender was quite studious and took a particular interest in divination. On top of that, she had a massive crush on Ron Weasley, loyally supported Professor Trelawney, and joined Dumbledore's army. She was even brutally attacked by Fenrir Greyback. With that brief introduction of Lavender out of the way, let's explore why she was played by three, yes three, different actresses throughout the films. In the Chamber of Secrets, we see the very first actress to play Lavender Brown, Kathleen Cawley. The truth is, this early on in the films, Lavender is not a particularly important character. She doesn't really have any dialogue, and she's really just there as a background character. Though she was mentioned in the books, in the films Lavender was never referred to directly by any of the other characters, at least while Kathleen assumed the role. After the Chamber of Secrets was released, the Prisoner of Azkaban followed. The Prisoner of Azkaban immediately followed the Chamber of Secrets, but interestingly enough, Lavender Brown was still recast. Kathleen Corley was promptly replaced with actress Jennifer Smith. The role of Lavender at this stage was still a non-speaking one, but she did occur quite frequently as a background character in the film. I'm not sure why Corley was replaced. This was around the same time that Coron took over the films, but I'd imagine that it was just that Corley was not available for the role. It's also worth mentioning that Jennifer Smith has been commonly confused with actress Candace Morris, who plays Keller in The Prisoner of Azkaban. Similar to Cawley, after one film, Smith did not appear in any of the films again. At this point, we would see a hiatus for Lavender's character altogether, until 2009 when The Half-Blood Prince was released. At this point, Lavender became a shocker, speaking character, and was played by none other than actress Jessie Cave. Cave had made her acting debut in the drama Summerhill and beat out 7,000 other girls in the audition for the role of Lavender in the film. So, you might be asking yourself, why another recast? Why Cave? The reason for this is that by the time the sixth film came out, it was time for Lavender's character to really blossom. She went from background character to front and center, and Warner Brothers decided that they wanted a more established actress in the role. Because the previous portrayals of Lavender were so trivial in comparison, it's likely that they never properly assessed the acting abilities of Cawley or Smith. They likely just needed someone to fill Lavender's space. I expect that the casting director just assigned the name Lavender Brown to the two previous actresses to keep track of the minor roles as the films progressed. Warner Brothers was scrutinized for the casting of Cave primarily because they replaced the two black actresses with, ultimately, a white actress. I personally don't think that the casting of Cave was a racially driven decision at all as she was an experienced actress hired for a portrayal of Lavender that required more experience. Cave was excellent in the role, but I'm not a huge fan of the lack of continuity on Warner Brothers' part. They have a bit of a history with a lack of continuity throughout the films, but I suppose that can be forgiven on the basis that the films were shot over a 10 year span. So I hope that answers the question, why was Lavender Brown played by three different actresses? Maybe you never noticed or even realized that Lavender was a character before the Half-Blood Prince. If you didn't read the books, that is. Well, now you know. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know down below. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry.